Welcome Evan Money here with this extra special bonus video. That's right, you're getting this video if you've already grabbed our audio CD and ebook on how to make $30,000 a month starting your own paintball field. So this again is an added bonus video just for you to give you the extra information that you need to take action from having your dream and making it a reality or what I like to call dreams to action. And so I've got three simple points for you that we're going to cover and how, again, we can go from, hey, I've got this dream, I've got this idea, to the grand opening day of your paintball field that you and I are both looking forward to. All right, so let's get right into it. Number one, the number one thing that we're going to talk about is simple. It is so simple to do. And a lot of times we get all confused with, oh, you know, business plans and P&As and this and this and this. At the end of the day, it is such a simple process. And the reality is all you need to do is A, find a location, B, secure that location with a lease with an option to buy possibly so you're protected so you have no money coming out of your pocket. The next thing is secure the financing with us or if you have your own money, putting it in, getting your equipment, and having your soft grand opening. That's it. It is so simple. A lot of you are familiar with the company Home Depot, who's owned by and designed and created by a man named Arthur Blank and his partner. Arthur Blank and his partner sat down in Starbucks and wrote the business plan for Home Depot on a napkin at Starbucks. And that ended up starting a trend with Arthur Blank because his whole thing was about keeping it simple. How do we keep the process as simple as possible? Now, as you probably know or may have heard, Arthur Blank ended up selling his share of Home Depot for billions of dollars. And what he did with some of that money is he purchased the Atlanta Falcons many years ago. And when he purchased the franchise, I believe the asking price back then was only 900 million. What a deal, right? And so when he sat down with the owner, then owner of the Atlanta Falcons, and they agreed to a price and said, okay, I'm gonna buy the team, here we go. Arthur Blank pulled out a napkin and started writing something down. And the then owner of the Atlanta Falcons said, what are you doing? He said, I'm writing the terms to our deal. He said, on a napkin? He said, absolutely, that's how I do business because I wanna keep things Simple. So if billionaires can keep, you know, billion dollar businesses and billion dollar NFL franchises simple, you can too with paintball, okay? It's very, very simple. All right, number two. Let's look at number two. I wonder what number two is going to be. And that's pretty simple. Number two is work. Oh, yes. That four letter word, work. Okay. Now I'm not talking about hard work. I'm talking about smart work, but you do have to put in the work. And the challenge with that a lot of times is we compare our behind the scenes, you know, our behind the scenes, okay, with everyone else's highlight reels. So for everyone else, it's like, oh, wow, look at these guys. They're amazing. They're opening these businesses. They're doing this. They're doing this. And then we look at our behind the scenes and all our fear and all our doubt and all our worries and we go, oh, I don't know if I can do this, okay? Stop comparing our behind the scenes with everybody's highlight reel. And what I wanna help you to understand is that there is no helicopter to success. It may appear that these guys start out at nowhere and then tomorrow they're owning these billion dollar businesses and everything's great, okay? But there's a long process that goes in between that you don't see. And here's why. Have you ever seen on television on ESPN a half hour NBA practice or an NFL practice? No, they show like quick two second clips because watching these players practice is boring, okay? Watching the highlight of the guy making the catch or the guy making the dunk, okay? That's exciting, but the practice and the work is boring, so they don't show it, okay? So we get these, you know, misaligned you know, ideas of how simple and quick and fast it is when there is no helicopter to success. Everybody has to put in the work, okay? A perfect example of this, I'll use a, a gentleman my age, famous actor, famous musician by the name of Will Smith. Now, Will Smith, when he was in high school, when I, we were both the same age, so I was a junior in high school listening to his 
platinum selling rap albums or cassette tapes back then. And so he was this superstar rapper making all this money. Lo and behold, Will Smith is in his early 20s and he is broke and owes the IRS over $2 million. Now you can go Google all this stuff and look it up and check it out. I'm rounding the numbers, but he was in millions of dollars of debt to the IRS because he wasn't smart with his money, he had some bad managers, whatever. So here he is, not just, I mean, again, some of you are watching this stressing about your $10,000 credit card bill. Imagine seven figures in debt to the IRS, okay? So what did he do? He, he, he moved to Los Angeles, and what he did was, at the Arsenio Hall show was really big at those times back then, so he would hang out at the exit, not inside with all the cool people, on the exit. So as people were coming out of the Arsenio Hall show, he would be out there shaking everybody's hands. Hey, hi, my name's Will Smith. Hi, my name's Will Smith. Hi, my name's Will Smith. Who are you? Da, 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 da. Some people would maybe remember, oh yeah, I remember you. Da, da, da. Lo and behold, he met a producer. Next thing you know, him and this producer started talking. He came up with the idea of the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air TV show. And so everyone thought, oh, Will Smith just became a rapper and this instant famous TV guy. Eh. There was a lot of humble pie and hard work that went into Will Smith's helicopter ride to success. And of course, all the money that he made from that show went, guess what, straight to the IRS, okay? So there's a long journey there, but when you look at it from the outside, it's like, oh yeah, this guy was into success, rolled out of bed, platinum selling, record guy, now making movies, everything's great for him. Not the case, okay? Lots of work went into that. All right, number three. Let's move on to number three here. Wonder what number three is gonna be, okay? The reason that many, many people Get the CD that you have, the ebook that you have, get all this great information, and they never open their field, okay? They never take action. Why not? Why don't people ever take action and make their dream of owning a field a reality? And that's because they never decide, okay? They never make a decision to actually do it. Now, the word decide, the root word for decide, actually means to cut off. So literally you cut off any other alternative to what you're thinking about. So once you decide, okay, and cut off any alternative, you know, hey, we're going to make this field a reality, okay? But you have to get to that decision point. And a great story about that, you may have heard it before, about the one of the great Viking leaders was ready to go take this island and, you know, one of these epic battles. And I've heard it with the Vikings, I heard it with the Spaniards, it's, it's been reproduced multiple times, but what will happen is this group goes to an island to attack the island. And as soon as they get to the island, the captain orders all their men to burn their ships. And you're like, well, why would they do that? Because the choices are A, we're either going to die on this island, or B, we're going to defeat the other army and take it over and live. They made a decision, and that decision was, we're cutting off any chance of returning home because our ships are burned, so we have no choice. So I'm going to encourage you to decide to say, I am absolutely committed. I'm making a decision. I'm going to start this paintball field, come heck or high water. And again, understanding that, hey, this field may start a little smaller than I may envision, but I'm going to grow it into this epic paintball field, this epic dream that I want it to be. And most of the great fields that are out there that are 10, 20 you know, years old that I've seen grow, they didn't start as these epic, amazing parks. They started small and they kept building and building and building and building. So again, it's simple. You need to add some work and you need to decide that this is exactly what you're going to do. No excuses. So I encourage you to take those tools, okay? Take action and the world is yours. God bless everybody.